Hi, I'm Mr. Schrader, and this video is about partial quotients, which is a math algorithm for division. Um, I also call it the big seven because it always starts with this kind of, you know, big seven shape to it. So um, what it's for is for division, and it's not the traditional algorithm for division because, and the reason I like it is because it's possible to solve the, the problem using math facts that are known by the students. If you use the traditional algorithm, you have to have a solid knowledge of your math facts. And our students don't always have that. So this makes doing division very possible. So let's talk about what this looks like. If I have 157 divided by 12, that's like saying how many groups of 12 are in 157. Um, and, and there's one way to solve the problem. So this is just one way of doing it. The, way I, the reason I like this is because every student's answer will be the same, but their path to get there could be totally different. So what I need to do in this case, I'm going to go ahead and work right here today, and then I'll erase it and go to our guided practice, okay? But I need to set it up as a big seven. I always start with the big seven, and I do 157. That's my dividend, and my divisor is 12. That's how many groups of 12 are in 157. Now, what I can do, and my example will show it, um, I can deal with math facts that I know. I know that 12 times 10 is 120. That's an easy one. Sets of 10. Those are ones that most students know. Okay? So these are my sets over here, and this is my running math in the middle. Okay? So 12 times 10 is 120. I'll subtract that from it. So I get, 100, uh, I'm sorry, 37. Okay? 0 through 7. So then I know 12, 24, 36. That's 3. Gives me 36. And I have one left. So these are the number of, these are the groups. I have 10 plus 3 is 13 groups with a remainder of 1 left over. Now, the reason I also like this, though, is I could have done it differently. So I'm going to go through, and I need to get a, a, a solution of 13 remainder 1. That's my, my goal. So I'm going to erase, and I'm going to try it again. I've got my big seven going on. And let's say I want to do instead of, uh, I know 12 times 5 is 60. That's just one of the ones I know. Okay, so 12 times 5 is 60. That's one of my 12s that I know. So then I can do my subtraction. I get uh, 15 minus 6 is, well, let's do it. 15 minus 6 is 9, so I get 97. Well, I can do another set of 60 out of that. When I do another set of 5, I get 60 again, and that works. So then I get 7 and, and 37. And then let's say I know 2 times 12 is 24. And that gives me 13 left. 12 can go on one time. I have one left. So I get 5, 10, 12, 13. with a remainder of one. I get the same solution, but I went about it a completely different way. The reason it works well is because I get to use math facts that, are, that I'm comfortable with. Okay, so I'm gonna do some erasing, and we're gonna try the guided practice problem. It says, what is 683 divided by 62. So I get 683 divided by 62. Okay, well, I know my 10 is really easy. So, and so I have to look. Will 10 sets of 62 go in? Let's find out. That's 620. Yeah, that fits. So I'm going to go ahead and do my subtraction. I get 3. 8 minus 2 is 6. And 6 minus 6 is 0. So I get 63 left. Oh, 62 goes into 63 once. That's 62, and I have one left over. So I get a total of 11 with the remainder of 1. I hope that makes it clearer. 
I want you to go ahead and do the on your own problem and pause it and then push play and we'll solve it together to see if you did it correctly. All right, let's solve the on your own problem. I have 289 and I'm going to divide it by 71. So how many 71s are in 289? Well, I know that I can't do a set of 10 because that would be 710. Seven, 10 sets of 71 is 710. That's way too big. But I do know that 70 times 2 is 140. 70 times. So let's just do that. 72, 70 times 2 is 140 with 2 extra. So I get 142. I can do that one. 9 minus 2 is 7. 8 minus 4 is 4. And 147. Oh, I can do 142 again if I take two more sets out. So I get 7, 6, 5. I have 5 left. 71 doesn't go into 5. I found my answer. It's 4 with a remainder of 5. There are lots of different ways to come up with this answer, though. The reason why partial quotients is so great is because I can solve the I can solve it going different ways. Now I know that 70, uh, seven goes into 28. Well, at least three times. Seven times three is 21, right? So 71 times three is 203. So when I do that subtraction, I get 9 minus 3 is 6. 8 minus 1 is 7. And 76. 71 goes into 76 one time. Using 71, I got 5 left. Now, uh, 70, 5 doesn't, I can't put 71 into 5, so I get my answer, which is 4 with a remainder of 5. It's the same thing I had before. I hope that makes it clear. Uh, keep practicing these algorithms. They become easier as you work. Thanks for your help. I really appreciate you, you tuning in.